Hey guys, welcome to my shop. It's Brandy from Eternal Harvest, and today we're gonna talk a little bit about routers. Now in this video, I am not gonna go over router tables. This is strictly gonna be for trim routers and a plunge router that I have on hand. So this is for new woodworkers, beginner woodworkers, just to give you a quick little overview of what routers can do. So first of all, if you're curious what they do, you can go look around at some of the pieces in your home and I bet you all the edges of the wood pieces in your home have been routed. Your kitchen cabinets are usually routed. Bathroom cabinets are usually routed. And it's that round over bit at the edge. Let me take you in and I'll show you my house. So here's a really good example of what a routed piece looks like. This right here has been routed and this right here has been routed. Pretty much any piece that has a decorative or soft edge to it has most likely been routed. It gives you the ability to cut a shape or round over really quickly on a piece of wood. These here are some bits and you can see they're all different shapes. I bought this kit off of Amazon. It was really inexpensive, so these are not the best quality bits out there. However, I bought it knowing that because I wanted to try out these different heads and see what I liked best. You can see at the bottom there, there's a little graph underneath each bit right here that shows what the cut will look like once it's done. This is one of my favorites, it's a chamfer edge. This is a round over bit and I love it. Now there's lots of different kinds of routers out there that you can buy, you can purchase, you can get a router table where the router hooks up underneath and you have a fence that you can move back and forth. I'm not gonna cover that today, but that is an option. You can get a trim router like this. They have both the plug-in feature or the plug-in kind and the battery kind. This is the battery operated trim router. Or you can get something like this, which is a plunge router. This is a two horsepower, it's very powerful, and it can handle some really big bits, half inch collets. And the collet is the size of the bit right here that fits into this collet piece right here. This is a half inch, but it also has a quarter inch piece that can go in, so it can handle either bit. This little trim router is a quarter inch collet. Now this on the plunge router, has a really cool feature where if you have it set to a certain depth, you can click this lever here and it'll loosen it so you can go up and down pretty easily, set your depth again pretty easily, and it's nice that way. I thought I would take a second and show you really quickly. This is the quarter inch collet piece that fits inside this half inch, which allows for a smaller quarter inch bit to go into the collet there. This is just a little round over. This is a big honking router bit. So that gives you a little overview. This also is a varial speed uh, router. So right here I can change the speed in which the bit is turning. It's not always the way. I just spent forever looking for this piece so that I could show you how to unlock and change out these router bits. So I found it, which is good. So most of these routers will come on the unit, there will be a little button here that you can push which will lock this turning piece into place. Once that's locked into place, you can use your little wrench to unscrew the middle piece there. And then once it's loose, you can get your bit free. And you can take the new one place it inside and then you're going to want to retighten uh, as far as you can with your fingers then use your wrench give it a good tight squeeze and there you have it now this piece that I have open here this allows that bit to go up and down let's see if I can show you here I'm moving it down right now here let me flip it over this way Okay, let's see if I can show you here. So by turning, opening this lever here and turning this knob, that will allow for this bit to drop down further, like so. Then you can determine where you want that bit to cut on the edge and how deep you want that to go. 
I'm gonna go ahead and route this edge piece here. You can see that's really nice and flush and straight. And I am gonna chamfer this edge, chamfer, chamfer, right there. There's a couple safety things that I wanna go over really quickly. And the first is that you are going to need your safety gear. You're gonna need a mask. This kicks up sawdust and wood chips like no other. So make sure you have a mask and eye protection. They are pretty loud, depending on which one. The trim router is obviously not as loud as the plunge router or a router table, but they're really loud. So you're gonna want some ear protection as well. Make sure you use that beforehand. Secondly, the router bit will spin away from you if you're going in the correct direction. So this is helpful because it's got the handle on the back. I know that I'm always needing to go away from my body, which means if it's turning clockwise, then I need to put my material on the left-hand side and cut this way. That way it's shooting the material away from my body, away from my face, and keeping everything safe. And that's true for all routers. You wanna make sure that whichever way the bit is turning, it's turning away from your body so that you can make sure and keep yourself protected. These do move really quickly. The, make sure you know where your on and off switch is really fast. In the very beginning, get really comfortable with it so that as you're working, if you need to stop, you can pick it up, stop it, wait for the bit to stop turning before you put it down and move on to the next part of your project. Using a router is something that's gonna be really helpful for you in your shop. If you are a beginning woodworker, please get familiar with this tool. It's so helpful. You can do so many different things with it. You can cut grooves into pieces that didn't have grooves, like this. You can cut edge work onto pieces like tables and desks so that there isn't a sharp edge. You can put decorative edges like cabinet doors. There's just so much to be done with a router. So get familiar with your tool. Make sure you watch as many tutorials as you can. Make sure you have safety gear. I will put my safety gear below with some links in case you wanna get what I have and the pieces that I'm using today. That will all go in the description below. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you have questions, drop them below, shoot me an email. You can find me on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and here on YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.